Louisiana beer reviews recorded at Mathern Supermarket. A Beta Seersucker Summer Pills. Introduced in 2014, sold from June to September. 4.8% uh, alcohol, 35 international bitterness units. It's made with Pilsner and Caterpillar malts, German tradition, and Balt hops. It gets an okay score on Beer Advocate, but we're only, we're only looking at 18 ratings. No score on Rate Beer because they only have 8 ratings. This will be number 9, written rating. The only video review or examination for this beer was from Tom the Beer Whisperer in Missouri. He doesn't really do reviews, so to speak. He does more like discussions of the beer, but um, I'm going to watch that one later. I'll plan on it. So let's try it out here at 7.50 a.m. Take a little taste of it. Taste it, and when I get home, I'll drink it. Put it in this shelf glass. I made a little hiss, and it made some, it's making a lot of smoke. You might be able to see that. Pilsner beers were developed in the 1840s in the German Confederation in the town of Pilsen. And then they became their light, their light bodied, low, relatively low alcohol style became the most popular beer style in the world. And then even more popular with the lighter version, the light beers. Okay, but this is made with no corn or rice adjunct, which is common in America, not too common in Europe. Then Whitehead in a rather hazy there's a lot of powdery sediment throughout, so almost like somebody dumped baby powder in it. And a, a few stray bubbles. Sometimes you'll see these pilsners being cloudy. The Victory Prima Pils was so cloudy and overflowing with foam that some people thought it might have been infected. And maybe that was the case. Well, let's check this Abita Louisiana product out. There's some sweetness, some mild light breadiness and some lemony you get that in these little in these pills over here some lemony aspect maybe the slightest and I mean the slightest little hop oil tinge let's go with the flavor yeah um all those things I just described with a sort of a more than expected hop bitterness and that hop that citrusy hop bitterness is prominent the mouthfeel is on the medium side so it's not so light body it's like 155 calories and the finish is on the dry side it's refreshing and the drinkability is very good. Now with this um, citrusy hop bitterness, it really, it kind of is evoking memories of, of the Samuel Adams IPL. It sort of comes across as an India Pale Lager, okay? So if you're familiar with the India Pale Lager style, you'll, you'll recognize this flavor. So um, I, I suppose this goes well with summer. I think it's a little heavier body than maybe mo many people would want at the beach or at a summer barbecue, but um, that's nitpicking, really. They are having a sale right now of $6.99 for six packs of a Bita here. I'm looking at all the different ones, Andy Gator. Now, for a beach outing or a really a barbecue when it's really hot, you probably would want to go with the Abita Light um, <clears throat> or even possibly the purple haze because I find this kind of this is on the light side that ale uh, but uh, if you want a little more punch in the um, aftertaste this could be a good choice um, personally I would probably get the Abita Golden um, lager for that for, for the summer I, I still think and other people uh, one other person at least has told me that Abita Golden is sort of like their uh, really their kind of hidden standout beer so but anyway I'll give this a B I think it is good 
and I think it's worth trying. So, Les Ailes, Les Bon Temps Relais, this is a good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Matherns and check out their always, ex always excellent sales that they're having on beer. And their very varied beer selection. And they just got the Cinebrite Trough Porter in. That's from Finland a few days ago. So, y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.